spring peeps. It is the day after <laughs> and I am feeling it. I slept in this morning, got up and everybody's already gone. I am home alone. My husband's at work and everybody's went about their own business for the day and I am off today, which is very odd. Uh, traded shifts with one of my staff so that she could go on vacation uh, the later part of this week. So works out well for both of us because I get the day after Christmas off to just rest and relax and recover. <laughs> I am enjoying a cup of coffee in the mug that Lakin gave me. She's so precious. When I opened this, the little look on her face was just, mm, it'll always be my favorite mug now. <laughs> Um, I do not have anything planned for today. I, I am not going anywhere. I'm going to go in here in a minute and get a bath or a shower or whatever. And then I am putting back on a clean set of PJs and not even getting dressed for the day. I do not plan on leaving my house. So going to tidy up a little bit. We don't really have much. We sort of did dishes yesterday as we went along. So I'm going to finish the few things that's left in the sink and That'll be it. It'll be YouTube videos for the rest of the day, catching up on what all you guys have done because I honestly don't think I've watched a video for three days. I mean, just there wasn't time for it. The, the house has been packed for the last three days. So I've got a lot of catching up to do. I want to see how you guys' this Christmas was and I want to get into the comments section and talk to everybody and just, yeah, catch up. Uh, so that's my plan today, vegging out on the couch, <laughs> YouTube. Alrighty, well, I'm going to go ahead and get off here, finish my cup of coffee, and then um, go get a shower. Oh, and as creamer, now there's not much in here, so it's not like I'm overindulging. I've only got uh, two tablespoons, but I used the eggnog as creamer because I just wanted to see how it went, how that would taste. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. But like I said... You know, it's not like there's a lot of alcohol in here because, you know, there's hardly any in the eggnog to begin with. And then when I'm only putting one ounce of eggnog in as uh, creamer, but it still has that flavor. I can still taste it. So it'll be one cup for me this morning. <laughs> All righty, y'all. I'm going to get off here. I will talk to you after a bit. Breakfast is served. I'm having two fried eggs with a tablespoon of minced onion and a cup of coffee out of my new mug that Lakin got me. Alrighty, see you in here shortly. Well, I am dressed for the day and in clothes, not PJs. While I was in the tub, home alone, I should have locked my door, but I live out in the country and I don't think about it. Somebody came into the house while I was in the tub. I heard my dog throwing a fit. So I hurried up, got out, threw my robe on and come out of the bathroom and in that time frame whoever it was had left the problem is they came in my house and didn't think anybody was home so they turned around and left but they let my dog outside so their wee wee if there truly would have been nobody here there my dog would have been outside if i would have worked my regular shift today i would not be home until tomorrow morning my husband will not be home till tonight so that would have meant my little dog would have been outside all day with no supervision. Right now, my heart is racing and I am irritated beyond all irritated. So I thought, it had to have been my dad. So I called up. I'm like, Dad, did, was you just down at my house and let Wee Wee out? He goes, no, I haven't even been out of my house today. So it was not my dad and nobody else should just, no. Mm -mm. So now I'm perturbed. <laughs> So I went ahead and got dressed for the day just in case whoever it is comes back. It has to be somebody that knows us. It's not like a total stranger walked into my home. So it's somebody that knows us. But, yeah, they had no right to come in and then let the dog out and then leave with my little dog outside thinking nobody was here and no supervision. How could you do that? How could you let somebody's dog out of their house and drive away? When you think nobody's home, I am so pissed off right now. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I just needed to get on here and vent, so hopefully I could let it go. And if you're watching this video and you did it, you're in trouble. Don't ever come to my home and let my dog out. 
because I know family watch these videos. So y'all, straighten up. <laughs> I'm getting off here and get my hair dried. Well, my hair is dried and I am completely ready for the day. I have made a few calls and I cannot figure out who it was. So either I haven't contacted the right person and I don't know because I've called everybody in these parts that would just walk into my home. Um, or they realize they made a big old mistake and don't want to admit it. Because I am pretty easy going until I feel like you jeopardized a loved one of mine. Rather it be a pet, a family member, and then I get pretty. They say I'm scary. <laughs> so I can have a temper when it comes to loved ones. But uh, yeah. Now I don't want you guys to think it's weird that somebody just walked into my home. Because... Around our area, it is considered rude if you knock on a loved one's door. So the most you can do is give, as you're opening the door with one hand, you give a courtesy knock as you're coming in. So to just walk into a loved one's home around here, it, it, it's the norm. Uh, you don't knock. If you're considered a loved one, you do not knock on the door. That's rude. So you only knock on an acquaintance door. A loved one, you just walk right in. Your family, you don't have to knock. So I have no problem that somebody just come into my home. What I have a problem with is the fact that they let my dog out and then left. Yeah, that's a no-no. I don't care if you're out there for an hour chasing down a loved one's dog. If you let a pet out, you put that pet back. Because that's not a pet. It's a family member. And you should be just as concerned for that family member is the people that live in its home. And yes, it is its home. You know, this is Wee Wee's home. We just help live here and take care of it for him. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I can't figure it out. So far, I've called around and everybody says, no, I wasn't there. No, I wasn't there. But at this point, I don't think anybody's going to admit it. They're like, oh, no, I let Wee Wee out. So they're like, well, I'm just going to let it slide. He's fine. I'm going to let it slide. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, he's safe. He's fine. Everything's good. I just got irritated. Thinking, of, you always, what could happen? You think about what could happen. Not just him being unsupervised and maybe getting hit by a car or wandering out onto the road, but also, now it's not a big deal around here right now, but a couple years ago, these people were going around stealing small dogs for laboratory testing. A lot of people in my area, they're dogs come up missing if they left them outside unsupervised um and here the police found out that these people were selling them to labs to do testing for products so it's like it you cannot leave your dog unsupervised you don't just have to worry about what the dog's getting into but what could ha you know who could steal it so uh yeah, I always panic when I know Wee Wee's been unsupervised for too, any length of time. Alrighty, now I'm just rambling. I'm going to get off <laughs> and I'll talk to you here shortly. Alrighty, peeps. Now that the main holidays are over and all we've got left is New Year's Eve, I want to talk about my plans for the upcoming year. As you've noticed, I've not updated my whiteboard in quite a while. I have not even got on the scale. So I had decided through the holidays that I was just gonna eat intuitively and not worry about my weight. Keto for me is a lifestyle change that will last the rest of my life. So I don't wanna push it or make it about weight any longer. Not saying that I don't want to still get off this weight because I do, but I want it to be a slow and gradual process so that my body can continue to adapt as I move downward on that scale. So I had decided that I wasn't gonna stress about it. I wasn't gonna worry about it and just enjoy my holidays while keeping it keto, but not track so much. So that was my plan. So I'm not gonna weigh in until the 1st of January. So on the 1st, you guys will see a whiteboard with updated statistics, and most likely it's gonna show a little bit of a gain because I definitely, even though I've been keeping it keto, have not been watching what I eat. Hold on a second, let me answer this phone. That was my sister just checking in. She wants me to do a couple errands with her. So she's gonna be over here shortly to pick me up. But anyway, my plan is to weigh in on the first and then get back into tracking mode now that the holidays are over. And I'm gonna track through my birthday, which is March 25th, 
And then again, I'm going to be laxed, keep it keto, but not worry about it on the week of my birthday. When we go out for dinner, I'm just going to enjoy keto foods, but not so much worrying about staying in within any type of macros. So that is my plan. So hopefully in between the last couple weeks, I haven't gained too much, but I do feel like I've, I've gained a couple pounds. We'll just have to wait and see until the first, but that's what I am looking for the first of the new year to get back into tracking mode, but be a little easier on myself. Alrighty, y'all. I'm going to get off of here for now, go shopping with Charlene, and I'll check back in shortly. We are at Tamaki Pocky, and we are having wings, and we each got the chicken fajita taco salad. Alrighty, this will be it for me today. I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you.